Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES, and we spoke yesterday about the bulls needing to hold uh, 72 and losing that and, and having that go down to the 65, 67 area, and that basically, if that area gets lost, opening up a test of middle band, and that was at 57 quarter. We didn't quite do 57 quarter. We did 60 half, and we saw that breakdown, and then we saw... What we have seen so many times for the past two years is that the bulls find their feet. The bears cannot hold what they've done because they get too far ahead of themselves. And you end up with this V-bottom face ripper type of day. And that's what the bulls did. The bulls um, uh, put the pressure on, kept the pressure on for the majority of the day. Today, for me, is a much more interesting day than yesterday. Because the real issue in 2014 has been the bull's inability to demonstrate conviction on the highs that they create. Okay? And we have done 81, I think we did 81 half overnight. We do 81 half, yeah, 81 half overnight. We're trading 75. So we'll have to see as we get into the regular session whether this is a situation where we're going to continue to push lower. Um, or if we're going to end up with another, you know, morning dip, I doubt it would be a dip as deep as we saw yesterday, but a morning dip that they come in and buy. If we get back into the practice of buying morning dips and grinding them out throughout the process of the day yesterday, which is all really, if you, if you, if you take all of the, all, all you know, if you strip everything else away from yesterday, it really was just a morning dip that got bought and ground out for the rest of the day. It just happened to be a very deep dip okay if we get into the practice of doing that again we are above the middle band and despite my reservations about the bulls and their inability to maintain anything if we're going to get back into morning dips that are bought then we have to get back into the practice of buying those dips and holding them throughout the day okay so that's you know that's where we are today is going to be a very interesting day um, if the bears want to accomplish anything they have to get back below 72. This is a 15 minute chart. You've got the daily pivot here at 72.83. They would have to get back below 72. Then you get back into 67.65, basically having to do all of that work over from, from Globex yesterday, which tells me that the real advantage right now is to the bulls. But, but, Yesterday, we make this, this ripper move up. We come back and we establish a higher low. We then move up and do 80, but then we close weekly. Okay, the week close gives me a little bit of concern. The 2013 bulls knock that close out of the park. We close above 82, 83, and right now we're challenging 86. And any bear that didn't run for the hills yesterday is certainly running for the hills this morning. We're not seeing that dynamic this year and I keep harping about this because I see people wanting to trade as though it's 2013 and you can't do that if you've been trading like it's 2013 all 2014 you're probably basically flat on the year okay you don't you, you have to respect the fact that it's more of a two-sided market it's much more of a trader's market this year it really is Last year was a grind higher market. If you were a perma bull, you had a great year. If you're a perma bear, you probably got murdered. This year, it's much more two-sided. The, the bulls have their days, the bears have their days, and, we, and we've been trading in fairly wide ranges. So then there's nothing going on on any of these charts, and there's nothing going on in, uh, in the news flow that suggests that is going to change anytime soon. So... You know, you can you can you can buy the, the dips, but you've got to understand the bulls have no conviction on the highs. You can't just buy 86 and forget about you know uh, you know selling into these dips. You have to sell into them. It's not 2013. You may want it to be 2013, but it's not. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Come check out the website. Come check out the chat room. I will be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.